Your feet, they're more important than you might think, so it is very important to stay on your toes when it comes to taking care of them. And this brings us to our next foot warning sign, toe walking. Now it can be harmless, but it can also mean something else is going on. And we actually have Sarah on the phone who's got a question about this very issue. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Hi, doctor. Thanks for having me. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Well, so what's your question about toe walking? Well, my daughter Jordan is constantly walking on her toes. She loves it. And at first I thought it was super cute, but now I'm kind of concerned if I should be, you know, worried about it or if it's okay or... You yeah, know. you were thinking, hey, she's a little ballerina. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> how, how old is Jordan? She's three. Three. And I have a, a quick question. Is, is she able to walk on her heels? Or is she yes. always so... She, she can walk flat-footed, but right. she usually when she's um, barefoot, she'll walk on her tippy toes. Okay, so that's good. So she can walk on her heels. That's important. Yeah. But first, um, you know, it's actually most kids, when they're learning to walk, will walk on their toes. That's just mm -hmm. how they do it. And then usually by age two or so, they kind of outgrow that. But some kids just get in the habit of doing that, and they, it persists well in, wow. you know, for a couple more years. And those are the kids we don't worry about. But the kids that we do worry about are the ones that are. They, they can't walk on their heels. They have to walk on their toes because maybe the, the calf muscles are too tight. And kids uh, maybe have cerebral palsy, have that sort of a thing. So I'm curious, socially, how is she doing? Is she, does she play with other kids? Oh, yeah. She's a funky, social three-year-old. <laughs> That's good. And is she a good talker? Oh, yeah. OK, good. Oh, yeah. And she make good eye contact with you? Yes. OK, that's really good, because those, I was asking you about signs of autism. And because toe walking can be a sign of autism, because kids with autism, they have sensory overload issues, and they just don't like the feeling of the ground on the soles of their feet, so they uh, prefer to walk on their toes. So I'm glad your, your daughter doesn't have any of those signs. So right. that's good. So you know, I wouldn't worry about this at all. Mention it to your doctor so your doctor can make sure your daughter's calves aren't too tight. OK. And if it, does, if it goes away by the time they're age seven, then you're good. Is there anything cool. you can do as a parent yes. to encourage walking? Yes, there's a couple things you can do. First, just stretching of the calf muscles and kind of massaging back there. Make it, you know, kind of helps loosen up that uh, Achilles tendon a little bit. Also, maybe not at age three, but maybe in another year or so, you might ask a, pa a pediatric podiatrist about orthotics because those can actually help the kids feel better about being on, their, on their, uh, the soles of their feet. Well, the good, good news for Sarah is it sounds yeah. like developmentally everything's fine. Right. So yeah, I would not worry about this at all. Okay, good. Thank great. you, Sarah, yeah. for a great question. Thank you.